practical knowledge their understanding of the climate their understanding of the surroundings that of the surroundings is so vast it's so deep home to over 250 species of birds the sundarbans has been a bird watchers paradise the changing and erratic weather patterns are also having an impact on the wildlife and bird species of the delta the number of migratory birds visiting the sundarbans has fallen drastically many species of birds are disappearing species like the adjutant stork and the white-bellied eagle once prolific have left the delta the migratory birds which are coming up north they pass through the sundarbans on their way down this is like a major resting place for these birds but uh, with the washing away of these trees and erosion what will happen is that uh, they, they won't be able to i mean there will be no place and no trees for them to stop here a growing population and increasing human pressure is another serious concern that threatens the fragile delta estimates reveal that the human population in the sundarbans has increased by more than 200% since 1947 numbering a staggering 4 million people today deforestation for human settlement and agriculture has resulted in loss of almost half of the total mangrove cover during the past century depriving the people of the most efficient natural barrier against storms and floods with food supply running out many are forced to venture into the jungles for fishing and firewood damaging not only the fragile ecosystem but risking their lives hundreds of people lose their lives in forest accidents every year another alarming observation was that the salinity level of the river is changing this is affecting many species of fish and crustaceans once known for its rich biodiversity the sundarbans is today overwhelmed and under pressure at all levels with some of its islands already showing signs of submergence viable solutions need to be found quickly for these communities an alternative source of livelihood could be one we provide them with alternative means of livelihood other than fishing and agriculture plus we socially awaken them i mean we provide them with education once they reduce their dependence on fishing and agriculture what is going to happen is that it is automatically going to lead to the conservation of sundarbans to solve the problems here in sundarban would be to provide them with the skills to um to like to make different products and and produce more um more crafts and stuff so that they can use that for certain incomes because they're willing to to learn deforestation and large scale clearing of mangroves for firewood and agriculture has tipped the balance of this fragile ecosystem the conservation is crucial if the communities are to have a future the mangrove interpretation center at sajnekhali has been set up to generate awareness and educate the local communities and visitors mutual coexistence and harmony is essential if we are to protect this unique ecosystem climate change is affecting our world low lying areas and poorer communities will have to bear the brunt ironically these communities the least contributor to climate change will be among the worst affected with agriculture no more sustainable and other resources fast diminishing many villagers are beginning to move out every day boat loads of young people including farmers and fishermen move out of the island in search of alternative livelihood
and local casual work. There is an urgent need to adapt, but at the same time, a need to repair the fractured ecosystem. This alone will help restore the equilibrium. Mangroves and quick growing varieties of trees are being planted along the village periphery to ensure protection from floods and further erosion. The local communities are beginning to understand that their future depends on these forests, which have sustained them for centuries. Without them, there can be no future. Involving the youth and motivating them will help carry the message. This has been an important start. Many lessons have been learned and the experience of the impact has left the climate champions thoughtful and pensive. When you come to such a place which is natural, you actually see our, uh, what we are causing. So it really helps inspire you and it helps realize that, okay, this is what I have to change. So what do I do to counter affect this? So that's basically uh, what I learned from this camp. With our knowledge and with our um, will, we can definitely reach out to a lot of people. And I think that it's high time that we take you know, initiative. If you want to tackle climate change, you have to be very observant. You have to be very practical. You have to observe the nature. And unless you observe the nature and how it is going about things, what are the changes occurring in nature? You cannot expect to be, you cannot expect to fight climate change. The crucial link seems to have been made. Change needs commitment, dedication, 